Brandon Perna, it's around this time that you see lots of videos going out there about sleeper teams, mm. right? You got you got fantasy going on and like all oh, these sleeper picks and these yes. uh, sleeper teams and all this uh, this great stuff. So yes. I thought it would be uh, it would be good to pick to exactly. Oh my God, it's like my grandpa. Grandpa? Oh, this is bringing back some bad memories. So, in terms ah, of sleeper teams, <laughs> sorry, that's, that's me at five o'clock. This is a morning. Vietnam vet in my head. <laughs> anyway, that's it. So, sleeper teams, what I want, I, with all we could each do, we'll pick an actual legit sleeper team that we think is going to, like, you know, it's, it's not really talked about too much. And then we're going to take a deep sleeper, a coma team, if you will, that ain't nobody talking about. Ain't nobody. And why they could potentially go far this year. Would you like me to start? Or would you like to start, Mr. Brandon Perna? No, you start because okay. I forgot to think about my actual sleeper team. That's fine. I got it. All right. Here's my actual sleeper team. Okay. What do you got? I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay in the same damn city and oh. say Los Angeles Rams. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, it's oh. a little bit of a cheat on my part because they won a playoff game last year with John Wolford. Uh, or injured Jared. They started with Wolford, and then, and then he got hurt, and then injured Jared Goff came no in problem. and won the game. And as yeah. much as people want to poo-poo on Jared Goff, like he played with a broken thumb. Give the guy some credit there. Uh, they added Matthew Stafford. They probably made the biggest upgrade at QB of any team this offseason. Uh, definitely more so than my Broncos, uh, <laughs> more so than the Jags with Trevor Lawrence because Gardner Minshew is a God Gardner Minshew was the better quarterback and the Jags have their team as a Jag, uh, Zach Wilson with the jets, same issue there. Like Stafford is going to thrive in, uh, Los Angeles, Sean McVay, so confident, doesn't even want to see Stafford play in a preseason game. Not just this season, ever. I think McVay said he will no. never play in a preseason game for me. Never. Um, that's a tough division, the NFC oh, yeah. West. Best but division. I'm going to say the Rams win it. With, like If that defense is... The, it, it can be a little bit worse this season, but they're going to have Stafford yep. throwing the ball around. Okay. Um, underrated kind of receivers there. I... Uh, I think Robert Woods, Cooper Cup. Oh, dude, Woods is the epitome of underrated. So oh, talented. Yeah. Nobody talks about him. Cooper Cup, solid. Uh, hopefully they get their running game going a little bit. But yeah, I think they're my actual sleeper team. Again, a little bit of cheat because they're a playoff team. But hey, I feel like a lot of people are like picking the Rams to do well this year. But I mean, that division is going to be just brutal. Like, because you yeah. have like potential four playoff teams coming from that division. Yeah, I'm going to say it right now. The Cardinals are not a playoff game. I don't think so either, but I think they're still going to be good. I just no, don't. they'll be all right. Yeah, yeah they were yeah. They were the catalyst to the Bills. So they just need to do one Hail Mary against the Bills to propel them into the playoffs again. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. That's all I need. Yep. All right, so then in a, a coma team. Coma. Coma, Co team. coma. Deep, 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 deep sleep. Here's a question. Is Daniel Jones the sneakiest fast player in the NFL? And by that, we mean, is Ooh. he the fastest white guy in the <laughs> NFL? Because when you say sneaky fast, you're talking about sneaky fast. A guy, and he, like, it's beyond that. He looks like he would be slow, but I believe on that run, uh, you he know what? reached the same speed as Tyreek Hill. He, you know what? I, I would not necessarily disagree with that jimmy with a fitty saying bud light seltzer yee okay, God, jimmy, you're paying that's... you're paying tom's mortgage this month <laughs> that, that, that it's just with the bud light it's just now i'm gonna have to buy some bud light it's gonna be bad i you know what i would agree with that i think he because no one thinks he's fast right yeah. like you look at like a Taysom hill he's fast right like you know he's fast you yeah. look at like some other receivers you're like oh yeah they they go fast Right. I mean, of course, Henry Ruggs go fast. Eric Stokes go fast. Yeah. We, we all we all know that they go fast. And Daniel Jones go fast. fast. Now, Daniel Jones go fast. Daniel so, Jones does go pretty fast. Um, so I'm saying he might be the fastest unsuspecting player mm. in the league. Okay. So, yeah. OK, Giants. I agree. I know I'm supposed to probably like disagree with you on these. Like if we were oh, to take there's, there's no agree or disagree, buddy. It's good. This is why they won't do it. Oh, wait. Well, no, we're oh, we're still auditioning. 
Oh yeah, fuck LeBron fuck. is the greatest of all time, and that's why. That is why. <laughs> um, your coma team that nobody's talking about, Brandon Perna. Oh, my coma team. Now I, I wanted to say the Kansas City Chiefs uh, was my coma team, but not a lot of noise. I like I like your Panthers. Uh, I'm looking for Sam Darnold uh, revenge. Which week one he's playing the Jets could happen. I'm gonna go with the Detroit Lions here, Tom. In your own division, people are saying Dan Campbell is either crazy or stupid yes. or crazy stupid. I'm saying genius. I'm saying he is genuine with his football guy motivation. Unlike Mike McCarthy trying to smash them watermelons, uh, what was what, the, the the Austin Powers, the mojo, whatever the hell he's doing, people don't buy into Mike McCarthy because it doesn't seem real. Dan Campbell, <laughs> I think a lot of players would follow that guy into the depths of hell. Now, I might have picked uh, Jared Goff to lead the league in interceptions, so I will <laughs> contradict myself uh, day to day. But I don't think Goff's that bad. Do I trust the Ryan Lions roster? No, 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 no. But for the Lions, all they got to do is win seven games, and I feel like this is a, a successful call. Nobody thinks – people think they might be competing for the first overall draft pick. Maybe Which I disagree right? with, by the way. I do disagree with that. I don't. I do not think they'll be the first overall pick. I think that is surely in the hands of the Houston Texans. Yeah, and here's the thing. I, I don't like the Minnesota Vikings defense. Uh, I think it got a little better to their credit. I hate to. Yeah, God, well, it felt gross. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Um, but uh, and yes, you, you Lions lose Kenny Galladay. They lose Marvin Jones. They lose Matthew Stafford. Oh shit! This is a D. <laughs> this is <laughs> they are in a coma. Modern medical science. The Lions give me six or seven wins, baby, and we're back. We're back. Okay. All right. So you think the Lions are a seven-win team? I think they can do it. And that's a, that is a successful year. I mean, that, that, that most definitely is a successful year for them. Yeah. Okay. You know what? That, I think that's, I want to say it's a good call, but they're that unconventional. Is call. It's a, it's either going to work or it's not. <laughs> so. I legit think that someone's going to try to bite someone's knee. Like Campbell's going to be like, Oh, you thought I was kidding. Like, no, no. like legit. They're going to send someone out there with like a spork and he's, and they're going to, they're going to go to town. Here's the other thing. They invested heavily in their offensive line. They did. They're building from the trenches, which I yes. actually think is a smart way to build. Very smart. Team, especially when you don't already have your franchise QB. Yep. So I think they might actually be uh, dominant in those key areas where like, you're looking for skilled players. You're looking for the flashy stuff. Maybe the Lions just do it the gritty way. There's going to be a lot of close games. But uh, mm. Thomas... Okay. Uh, don't worry, we haven't even got to the Broncos yet, Thomas, so we will be getting to Broncos Packers talk here in a minute, my friend. Look, look at that transition. Perfect. Let's look at that. Boom. Thomas, it's like he knew. It's like oh, he yeah, knew. We, we do have some, uh, some graphic transitions, but uh, I didn't realize I needed a different file format until about five minutes for the show, so maybe <laughs> next week you'll see some sexy work by our friend John again. Could be Friday. We'll see. Yeah, Easy. that's oh yeah, we're doing the show a lot. <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, <laughs> right? Wait, we're still good with that, right? We're so we're still good. Oh, yeah, we'll be here week? Friday, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning. 